I drive my left shoulder into the back of her shoulder. So whatever shoulder's touching her body, that's correct, that shoulder moves. So right now, the shoulder touching her back is my left one. And I'm just going, and chucking past. That's called a shook. Just like that. We've got three correct. Okay? So, now I'm in this position where it's the heel kind of front of them. Now you see this position here. I'm right to the back of them. So what I want to do now is I want to really make this leg be no good. Completely go dead so she can't walk away from me, go anywhere. So I'm going to squeeze on it like this, this position. And then I'm just going to drive her to the floor. Okay, and as I drive her to the floor, I'm going to take a power step with my left foot. So I'm going to go and this position. Kind of the reverse of where you were landing with your resting a minute ago when you were doing it, your get ups from the knees. Kind of that idea, but now you've got your back instead. So, first step, basic body lock behind the tailbone, okay, that's underneath your belt. Always keep your elbow squeezed nice and tight to the body so she can get her hands inside. You can also see my left knee is in between the middle of the legs. That's very important. Now I'm gonna try and keep my body all the time pressed to grace to give her no space to move away while I'm setting up the next few moves, that's key. So you guys, super glued, super glued, super glued, super glued. So as I get to here, now you can see that my butterfly grip is more on the side of her hip or where your belts are. Now, now I'm wanting to get it better. So I drive my left shoulder up high to the air and I shut by and I basically bring my hand locked nice and tight here and I'm going to move my head to this position actually, this side, it'll be easier for you. Now, Grace, will you lift up your arm here just so they can see? So watch what happens. My elbow starts to crush down like that. So pushing right in nice and tight. And then as I go to throw her, I'm going to take a step with my left foot forward and put all my weight down into her left leg. And I've got this position here. And from here again, now I can start setting up back pin. She's probably going to turn top pin to try and do her escape. So again, I'm setting up that position here where I can ground a pound, whatever. But what I like about this is if you're not confident of shooting from outside, and you say, well, if I can get inside somehow, and I can get this position, I can go and control the back. Now I've got a nice position that I've got on top, and it didn't take much to do it. All I needed to do was get my hands in the correct position around her waist and her body. So that is a nice body lock position from the back. And a really good one, it works. It works on big people. Because once they cannot, once you take one of their legs away and they can't defend, and you make this leg kind of go almost like it's useless, you keep pushing, 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 and you make their knee go in like that with your hand, crushing, crushing. I, I can't face back out, I can't get my position. So, we've done it before, but we're gonna go do it again. Repetition is perfection. All right, let's go.